if your Logitech wireless keyboard is not working or has input lag or delay. There is a set of troubleshooting steps that you must do in order to know the cause and fix the issue. In this video, we'll show you the steps and solutions that you can do to start using your wireless keyboard in no time. If you have another computer, the first troubleshooting step that you want to do is to check if your keyboard works with it. If your Logitech wireless keyboard works fine on the second PC, you should focus your troubleshooting on the first computer as that's where the problem likely exists. If the Logitech keyboard appears to be turning on as indicated by lights or others, the next step that you want to do is to force restart. Just like other electronic devices, your keyboard may have encountered an internal error that causes it to freeze or become unresponsive. Just turn the keyboard off and quickly turn it back on using its power switch. Another way to quickly restart your keyboard is by removing the batteries. If it's been a long time since you've last replaced the batteries, try to see if replacing them with fresh ones will help. Keep in mind that you can check the battery level of your device using the Logitech G-Hub software. Sometimes, the main reason why a Logitech wireless keyboard suddenly stops working can be caused by an issue with the USB port on the computer. Try using another USB port to connect the Logitech receiver or USB cable. If you've been using an extension USB cable to connect the USB receiver, try connecting the dongle directly to the USB port this time. If that setup will work, you probably has a problem with the cable and not the dongle or wireless keyboard. Like the extender USB cable, the wireless receiver of your keyboard may be damaged due to wear and tear, factory defect, or other external factors. If your computer has another Bluetooth receiver, try to see if you can use that to connect your Logitech wireless keyboard to your computer. Some Logitech wireless keyboard users were able to successfully use their device again after setting its startup type from manual to automatic. If your Logitech wireless keyboard is still not working at this time, follow these steps to restart it and change its startup type. Press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Once the run dialog box is up, type in services.msc and press enter. Expand the Human Interface Devices, find Human Interface Device Service and double-click it. Click the option for Startup Type and change it to Automatic. Click Apply and hit OK. Restart your PC and check if Logitech Wireless Keyboard is now working. Speaking of drivers, it's important that you keep them updated all the time. This goes true for all devices on your PC including input devices, such as keyboards, mice etc. Be sure that your drivers are all updated. The easiest way to do that is by installing Windows OS updates. Windows will determine what's the best drivers that are available for you and will search the internet for them. Just go to Windows settings, then update and security to update your operating system. The final fix that you can try is to remove the wireless keyboard from Windows temporarily. This may solve the problem if there's a bug in the Windows OS that prevents your PC from detecting your wireless keyboard. To uninstall your wireless keyboard, you'll need to open Device Manager and remove the device from there. Press the Windows key on the keyboard or click on the Start button on the lower left. Type in Device Manager and open the Device Manager app when it shows up. Expand keyboards and right-click on your device. Select Uninstall Device. If there are more than one device in the list, you'll have to uninstall all of them. Restart your PC and check if the problem returns. That's it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.